Hello everyone, uh, this is the sixth part of the detailed solution and explanation of the Delhi University MSc Botany Entrance Exam 2015 question paper. Uh, so let's start with the questions. Uh, which of the following is true for the flowering process? So we know this is a very direct question that photoperiodic responses are, are important for the flowering process. Uh, next question, select the correct botanical name of popcorn from among the following. Uh, so, this Zia maize variety Everta is the botanical name for the common popcorn that we use. Uh, maize is classified into different subspecies according to the amount of starch content. Popcorn is Zia maize variety Everta. Dent corn is Zia maize variety Indenta. Flint corn is Zia maize variety Indurta. And sweet corn is Zia maize variety Saccharata. So this you have to remember. Next question, uh, which of the following compounds causes bitterness in almond? So the in almond, the prunus dulcis is the scientific name or the botanical name of the almond. The commercially important part of the fruit is the kernel. The bitter kernel are almost omitted due to continued selection. Although still there are trees carrying bitter kernels. The bitter kernels are toxic to us and should be continuously checked. The bitterness is due to the accumulation of the cyanogenic diglucoside amygdalin which upon hydrolysis releases toxic hydrogen cyanide. The bitter kernels has two cytochrome P450 that is SIPs enzymes which catalyze the first steps in amygdalin biosynthesis. The sweet kernel are sweet because they lack the expression of these two en enzymes. Uh, of cytochrome P450 which are involved in the amygdalin biosynthesis and hence the cyanogenic, uh, cyanogenic diglucoside amygdalin is not synthesis in the sweet kernels. So the answer to this will be B that is the cyanogenic diglucoside amygdalin. Next question uh, which species of the bacillus is used for curing of bitterness of tea leaves? Uh, so uh, Bacillus megatherium and Micrococcus condescens are used in the curing and fermentation of tea and tobacco leaves and treating their bitterness. So the answer is B. Bacillus megatherium. Next question. Which of the following are not the new world crops? So uh, the answer is mustard and olive. So in this case you have to know that old world refers to Africa, Asia, Europe while new world refers to the America including the North America, Central America and South America. Olive is sub, sub Mediterranean in origin while mustard is having its origin in Middle East or West Asia. Uh, regarding this type of question you have to remember some of the very common old world and new world crops that you will easily get, get from any economic botany book or just by googling. Next question, which of the following is the source of Lagos silk rubber? So uh, just read these important points. Uh, Hevia brasiliensis, the most prominent rubber plant and is a source of Hevia or para rubber. The Panama or Castilla rubber is from Castilla elastic. The Sierra or Manicoba rubber is obtained from Manicoba. Assam or India rubber is obtained from Ficus elastica. The Lagos silk rubber is from Futuma, Futumia elastica. The Landolfia rubber is from several species of Landolfia. The Goyol rubber is from Parnith, Parthenium argentatum. And Dandelion rubber is from Terexicum coxagis. So the answer to this will be uh, the, the Lagos silk rubber is obtained from Futumia elastica that is the C option. Next question, uh, select the correct group of plant genera that produce fibers of economic importance. So we all know uh, that Cocos, Crotillaria and Corcorus are the important fiber yielding crops. So the answer is B. Uh, next question, International Rice Research Institute is located at, so International Rice Research Institute or IRI is located at Philippines, uh, Manila. That is B option. Next question, bhang, opium and tobacco are respectively obtained from which of the following group of genera? So bhang is obtained from cannabis, opium is obtained from pepeva so many ferum.
from and tobacco is obtained from nicotiana so the answer will be b that is cannabis paper and nicotiana next question rr2 a high yielding variety is of the following crop so rr2 is actually the uh, high yielding variety of wheat we should all know so the answer is b that is the uh, rr2 is the high yielding variety of wheat next question which of the following growth regulators does not support morphogenesis brassinolide tdz abscisic acid or zeatin so uh, thiazurin that is tdz is cytokinin used in tissue culture and can promote morphogenesis uh, brassinolide is first isolated brassinosteroid isolated from pollen of rape seed that is brassica napus that accelerate morphogenesis zeatin is the most abundant natural cytokinin in higher plant it is a adenine derivative and then aba that is abscisic acid is a stress hormone that causes seed and bud dormancy etc but does not support morphogenesis so the answer to this will be c that is abscisic acid is a growth regulator that, that does not support morphogenesis next question phytotron is used for so phytotron is actually a con a uh, plant growing under control environment a phytotron is a device or an enclosed area used for plant research where the ambient condition can be controlled for example greenhouse glass house and growth chamber etc next question which of the following which one of the following statement is correct so here they are talking about the western blotting the southern blotting and the northern blotting uh, just look to this uh, box so western blotting uh, is for detecting a protein through a protein probe the northern blotting is uh, for detecting a rna through a rna oligonucleotide and uh, southern blotting is used to uh, detect dna um, with a dna oligonucleotide probe so the option uh, in this all four question you will see the different different combination the western blotting uh, for example if we see the a option western blotting involves protein dna interaction which is wrong it involves protein with a protein probe interaction so this is wrong uh, second is southern blotting involved dna dna interaction which is fine but the second part western blotting involves protein dna interaction again wrong uh, the third part northern blotting involves rna dna interaction and southern blotting involves dna dna interaction so this uh, this is correct because i have told you that in northern blotting the rna interacts with the oligonucleotide that oligonucleotide can be a single stranded dna or an rna and the southern involves dna dna interaction that i have already told you and the d option the northern blotting involves rna protein interaction which is wrong western blotting involves protein protein interaction uh, this is also wrong because uh, this is correct but the first part that is northern blotting involves rna protein interaction is wrong it involves rna with a oligonucleotide which can be a rna as well as a single stranded dna so the option c is correct next question which one of the following selection marker genes could be used effectively for in vitro as well as field level selection of transgenics by exposing plants to the selection agent so npt2 gene is taken from the tn5 transposon of e coli it encodes for enzyme neomycin phosphotransferase 2 enzyme the transgenic plant having np2 npt2 gene is resistant to neomycin and kanamycin during in vitro selection the hpt gene encodes for hygromycin phosphotransferase enzyme the transgenic plant having hpt gene is resistant to hygromycin during in vitro selection and amp r gene as we know uh, is as we know is that it provides resistance again ampicillin antibiotic in the in vitro selection media and then comes the bar gene the bar gene is a selectable marker often used for rice and other plants the calli of the transformed plants are resistant to the phosphoenothricin that is ppt which is a active component of the herbicide basta so the bar gene presence thus ensure herbicide that is basta resistant to the plant in the field also so it can be uh, so you can uh, you are observing that the bar gene ensures and the selection in the calli form also that is in, that is in vitro selection as well as in the field again the herbicide so the answer to this will be d that is bar gene so this brings us to the last question of this video identify the correct feature of plant genetic transformation from the statements given below 
uh, given the availab the first option i am reading uh, given the availability of all proteins required for tdna synthesis uh, transport and integration into the host nuclear genome uh, transgenic plant can be generated even in the absence of a selectable marker gene within the tdna so uh, this as we see is a right statement because a selectable marker gene is just for our query that the uh, transgenic plant that that is the plant that we have used for transgene uh, transformation is uh, transformed properly because the selectable marker gene will uh, select it over an antibiotic or if it is a visible marker so it will be easily visible to us that yes our gene of interest has been integrated into the uh, the uh, desired plant so this is the right statement now coming to b statement high levels of transgene expression are always achieved by introducing multiple copies of the transgene into the nuclear genome so this may or may not be correct because if the genome if the integration of the transgene is on the same genome locus that is if multiple copies start integrate have started integrating in the same genome locus so that i have written at the down that the co-integration of multiple transgene copies at the same genome locus may lead to silencing possibly because of the formation of small inhibitory rnas from antisense transgene transcription so this is this statement becomes wrong uh, third one is genetic transformation of plant cannot be achieved by introducing a gene of interest into the chloroplast genome no it can be achieved because chloroplast based transformation is a well established method so this also option also becomes wrong and the last option in biolistic transformation protocols for regeneration of transformed plant cells is never required for development of transgenic plants so this is also wrong the protocols for regeneration of transformed plant is required the biolistic transformation is just to introduce the foreign dna into the into the cell that is uh, we uh, put our gene of interest or and we will immobilize it over the gold particles and we make the gold bullets and then we use a biolistic gun and then transform the cali that's it after that the cali is regenerated by the same protocols which were used for regeneration of transformed plant uh, hence a transformed pro plant regeneration protocol is required in biolistic transformation hence the first option is only correct that without a selectable marker gene also a transgenic plant can be produced so in the next video next video will be a quite long video consisting of all 60 question remaining 60 question of the 2015 botany entrance paper of delhi university i will be giving you the detailed solution and explanation uh, if you find any mistake in the solution please do comment please like the video and do comment to appreciate my work and stay tuned for more upcoming solution videos of various msc entrance exams related to biological sciences